Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ayyul Ahbab Some of the points of Iman or signs or characteristics of Iman are mentioned in a very beautiful hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam said عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من كان يؤمن بالله واليوم الآخر فليكرم ضيفه ومن كان يؤمن بالله واليوم الآخر فليسل رحمه ومن كان يؤمن بالله واليوم الآخر فليقول خير أو ليصمت Mutafakun Ali. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam outlined for us some of the characteristics of Iman, or some of the the characteristics of the per, of, of Ahli Iman, of the person who possesses Iman. These are signs of Iman. He alayhi salatu wa sallam said, as reported by Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said that whoever believes in Allah and the hereafter, then be good to his guest, be generous to his guest. And whoever believes in Allah and the day of judgment, then keep the ties of kinship. And whoever believes in the day of judgment, uh, believes in Allah in the day of judgment, then say something good or keep silent. And this is collected in Bukhari and Muslim. In this hadith, Ayyul Ahbab, three very beautiful characteristics are outlined for us, which show, which are alamat al-Iman, which are signs of Iman. And the first one, Ayyul Ahbab, is that the person who believes in Allah and believes in the Day of Judgment will be kind to his or her guest and generous to them. Inviting people, sharing with them from your good food, making them feel welcome, and being hospitable. This is one of the characteristics of Iman. And the second characteristic, Ayyul Ahbab, is that the person who believes in Allah and believes in the Day of Judgment will maintain the ties of kinship. That they will try to establish ties even between family members that might be distant from them or that might have issues with them even. So this is a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam to strive to do this strive to make make effort to maintain those ties of kinship and the third characteristic of ahli iman that's outlined in this hadith of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is that the person who believes in allah and believes in the day of judgment will only speak with good and if they don't have anything good to say keep silent ayul ahbab how many people do we know who unfortunately do not exhibit any of those characteristics, but especially the last one, that they continuously talk. The good, the bad, the ugly, everything. It really doesn't matter. No boundaries. 
They might say something good, but they often say something bad. You come in the home and the first thing that they do is they're speaking about so-and-so. Even about their own family. Relative so-and-so is like this. She is like this. All she does is do this. So all this ter- people, all people like this do is spend time backbiting and ghiba and namima. And what is sad and a sad state of Ahl Iman when they fall into this is because these kind of things begin to tear away from your good deeds. Meaning you just gave charity. Maybe someone was just at a fundraiser and they gave $10,000. They gave this much money and they did this. And they came home and they began to backbite so-and-so. And they began to curse so-and-so. And they began to speak ill about so-and-so. Or they just finished Salat and prayer. And then the first thing they're going to do is they're going to share with you a lie. Or speak about a person or spread something evil that they heard. Ayyulahbab, we have to be careful about this. We have to exhibit the attributes and characteristics of Ahli Iman and stay away from Ahlak, Ahla, Halak, the people who are destroyed and the people of sin. And the people of ghiba and namima and backbiting and wickedness. Ayyallah Bab, strive your best to do good and stay away from evil. And may Allah protect us from evil and bless us with good. And bless our brothers and sisters wherever they may be, striving and struggling and being persecuted. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.